What is your best well that backfired story? Decided to burn some newspaper outside in a toilet I had just replaced. Because I didn't want risking the grass catching on fire. Well. Heat caused toilet to explode. Sending burning newspaper everywhere. Grass caught on fire. Fire literally went back at you. It literally backfired. Sitting on an airplane doing a crossword puzzle. My pen stopped writing. So I snapped it up and down a couple of times. Up. Pen works again. Guy beside me starts freaking out and yelling for the stewardess. I look over at him and see a thin line of black ink running from the left shoulder of his crisp. Starched white shirt to the right hip of his pants. I pretended like I had been asleep. And he blamed some random kid across the aisle the airline gave him a voucher or something to pay for the dry cleaning. Upvote for going from normal human adult to so I pretended to be asleep to avoid getting into trouble. Hired for a position I was overqualified for. Overperformed. Asked for a promotion. Fired. Trying to shake hands with my bully. Thinking this would defuse the situation. Got punched in the throat. And while I don't advocate it. This is why people assault their bullies in the middle of lunch by slamming a bunch bunch of books behind their head into the table. I got bullied from 3 5th grade in elementary school. One day I just blacked out and went into a rage. I chased him for probably 5 minutes and caught up with him. Had him on the ground beating him for a good solid few minutes until a teacher pulled me off him. He was bleeding quite badly from the nose. I got called to the principal as well as my parents and the bully's parents. My parents had tried several times to report the bullying to the school. But it was brushed aside as by antics early 90s. This was the first the bully's parents had heard about it and they went from being pissed at me to being pissed at their son. None of us got any punishment from the school. He got grounded for months at home. And he never bullied me again. And would barely make eye contact with me after that. For April Fools I was planning to do an innocent prank by putting a rare horn under my teacher's chair so when he sat down it would trigger it and startle him but he got too startled and jumped out of his seat. Landed on his back and got knocked unconscious. Ripping that air horn off that seat fast as hell while he's still out. Nobody seen nothing. Everyone just froze and looked at each other except for this one girl who just started screaming. Had friends at a lunch table who always made fun of this girl who sat by herself. I invited her to our table one day because I felt bad for her. Yup. You can see where this is going. She immediately and 100% replaced me. And they all realized it was even more awesome to make fun of me. Jokes on them. I got to eat lunch with my civics teacher after that. Happened to me too. It did end bad though because I reported them to the principal because they'd harass me with gay jokes and telling me I'm a fudge packer and like to toss the special students salads. Like every moment I was near them or was in their line of sight. Gay jokes abound and it got bad when they'd just yell out my full name. Their junior and senior years didn't go well after me going to the principal. They also had to go to sensitivity training and meet with LGBT support groups. I graduation. They were labeled as homophobes and even so far in the closet. When I was a kid at summer camp. I once attached some skyrockets to one of those balsa wood gliders. I tossed it out toward the lake after lighting the rockets and it flew normally for a few seconds until the rockets kicked in. It shot straight up. Looped over our heads. And landed right on one of the counselors. No bug juice for me that night. A girl I knew dated a guy I was also friends with. Really sweet. Doting guy. Not the best looking. But a really lovely lad. I went on a night out with his girlfriend. My partner at the time and his friend Jay. We drank and danced etc and at the end of the night. My friend and Jay were kissing. We spoke the next day and she swore it was a one off but ended up meeting him twice after that so I told her if she didn't tell her partner. I would as he was my friend too and didn't deserve it. In the end I told him and he thanked me. Then she spoke to him. Cried a river and managed to talk him round into forgiving her and falling out with me. Been a few years since and neither one spoke to me since. They're still together but I don't know how he can trust her. 
Not me but my brothers. My second older brother got really bad sunburn while out at the outdoor swimming pool and my oldest brother told him to put this deep heat cream on it. This is that kinda cream you put on for muscle pain and it heats up. Long story short my second older brother does this and has to go to hospital for heat stroke. Never seen my dad shout so much in my life lol. Got my cat to cat trees because I was told she needed more vertical space. Now she doesn't use them and sleeps in the center of the floor like she owns the effin' place. Several years ago I found a probably abandoned kitten, had on a collar but no one ever claimed her, and my husband and I ended up taking her in. She had obviously been around people but wasn't very affectionate and wasn't accustomed to sitting on a lap or being picked up or cuddled. She didn't object but seemed rather puzzled. A dozen or so years later we have this giant kitten who tries to groom us to sleep at night, while laying under the covers, and follows us around all day wailing to be picked up. My husband often remarks that we may have overdone the whole teaching affection thing. 8th grade. Pay. Playing soccer. Guy on opposing team goes to kick ball toward goal and our goalie sucks. I dive to block it with my body. Oh. I blocked it alright. With my nuts. Mega roof. But at least he didn't get that point. I use the balls to stop the ball. 2 for 1. Ain't worth the trade. I was with my friend walking from the subway to bar. These two attractive girls came up to us and asked if we knew where a different bar was but it was on the way to where we were going so we offered to walk them there. One of the girls said wow that's so nice. Thank you. You're not gonna take advantage of us or something are you? And I responded no. It'll all be consensual. She didn't find it as funny as I did and they ran ahead at the next crosswalk. I was running low on condoms. So I decided to sneak a box in my basket under the groceries because the supermarket had self checkout registers and I'm still effing in berries to buy condoms. Total e backfired. I scanned the condom and threw it in the bag in a split second. This lady, I'm assuming the store manager, got suspicious and walked up to me and asked me if I'm sure I scanned everything. Then mentioned the yellow box. I remained calm. Pointed out the item on the screen. And all of a sudden all her professionalism went away and a stupid smirk appeared on her face. Then she just had to crack a joke in front of all of the customers. She said do you know how to use them ha 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 then walked away. A hole. In my first apartment I had a bag vacuum, as opposed to a canister vacuum. And the bag was full. I had no replacement bags. So I used painter's tape to attach a Walmart bag. I thought I was frugal genius. And patted myself on the back as I switched it on. Didn't work at all. Almost immediately the bag blew right off. And a bunch of dirt blew all over the place. All the dirt that was stuck in the vacuum since the previous bag was full. Another victim of physics. Met a guy at work after a bad breakup in uni. He was cute so I figured we could hang out for the summer and I'd never see him again but he could be my distraction. Been together 8 years. Married for one. Oops. Once I had this stupid idea to go out with my best friend and my crush together. I thought he could help me get together with her, leaving friend zone. Well. Sometime after that they started dating. Was told a rumor about a girl I used to be friends with having a big SUAL adventure. I told these dudes to maybe not spread it around because one, no one's booseness and two, rumors like that really eat at people. I heard the rumor again the next class. So the following period I told the girl since she was in that class. Quietly I say. I'm not saying this rumor is true. But I think you should probably be careful with the personal information you disclose to people. Not everyone will do the best for you of course she instantly asks why I'm saying this. I tell her. She angrily says the girl's name. Whom I stopped being friends with two previously. I didn't know it was her who told. Just keep stuff you don't want everyone knowing to yourself. Okay? By the end of the day, I have these girls trying to come at me. The other girl said that I made it up because I just wanna make them not friends too. The first girl believes her because she's dumb as rocks in the first place. Good thing I'm intimidating to people. 
so I wasn't bullied or anything. But goddamn. I was seriously having the best intentions for a girl I didn't even talk to at that point for being shy previously. Okay. I got this one. When I was a leader in training, lit, at my beloved summer camp. Itching to prove myself but still a dumb impulsive kid. I also liked fire. We were on a day trip and the site had a 30 degree rock face that was hidden from the site itself. So I went to the top with a friend and a can of naphtha, highly flammable. These rocks are pitted so I decided it would be an awesome idea to fill one and light it on fires. I was facing uphill and didn't notice that when I filled the little pit. It overflowed and ran down between my legs. So I light it. It immediately flares up down the hill. Through my legs. I jumped out of the way but ended up knocking the can into the blaze and it bounced down the rock face. Spraying burning naphtha everywhere. It landed on the lake at the bottom and leaked burning fuel all over the small inlet. I turn around and friend had run. So I ended up putting out 50% just stamping in my sandals. They brought in and emptied two fire extinguishers on it all because main camp was close by. Somehow didn't get sent home and had an awesome counselor career. After a night of heavy drinking. A friend and I spot an abandoned building on the walk home. Thinking it would be a good idea to climb in through a second story window. I give him a boost onto the balcony. Promptly slipping and ending up elbow deep in a first story window. Cue a late night early morning trip to the hospital. And me waking up with 11 stitches in my arm. Sucks. But in hindsight I'm lucky to be left with a scar and no significant nerve or muscle damage. <laughs>